Let's go over how to make sure you never make silly mistakes ever again on the math section of the SAT. Now, silly mistakes is probably the biggest thing you need to fix, at least at the higher levels, right? It's like 700 math, like probably a third or even like two thirds of the questions you get on are just from silly mistakes. It's a big thing. And also the test is weighted, right? It's, it does the algorithm that calculates your score. How it does it, it tends to weigh the easier questions as higher points. Right, because how they calculate, calculate your score is based on how you do compared to everyone else. At least like that's how they calculate the difficulty of the questions. Right, so they need to give you an accurate score, meaning if you get like a really easy question wrong, right, like question one in the first module wrong, they'll probably take off a lot more points than if you got like the hardest question wrong the entire test. Honestly, they probably won't even take off any points if you get the hardest question wrong the entire test, but it's the, the, the easiest questions wrong, if you get that wrong, a lot of people get those questions right. Right, so if you get that wrong, the, the algorithm like this person got this question wrong that everyone else got right, they probably suck at this concept, so let's take off a lot more points to better represent their ability in the math section, right? So easy points, like easy questions is where you, like the only reason why you get those wrong is if you make silly mistakes, right? So silly mistakes are costing you a lot of points. So to make sure you completely resolve silly mistakes, you need to first think about what are the possible ways you can make a silly mistake. Now I've analyzed this and I think there's only four ways w why you would make a silly mistake. The first way is you misread the question. This is the most common way, right? You misread, or you can think of it as like you forget something. For example, maybe you, the question asks you for six X, but you only found X and you forgot to multiply it by six, right? Something like that. So you misread the, the question or you forget something that the question asks you, right? The second thing would be mistransferring data transferring data this is any time you like type something to desmos and you make a typo or you select the wrong answer even though you knew the right answer or something like or maybe like you you're trying to type answer or you're trying to like transcribe like a, a shape on like a triangle on scratch paper but you like misread your own handwriting something like that anything with like transferring data but you mess that up okay the third way is just like an algebra mistake like you forget to distribute a negative something like that and the fourth thing is you forget a or you misremember a formula but it's like a misremember misremembering something okay now you can completely prevent these three during the actual test. You just like do extra steps, right? To always make sure you never misread or forget a question. First of all, when you're reading a question, you, sh you should be having the mindset of there's no way I missed anything or no way I misread the question. That's really important. But before you go on to the next question, before you press the next button, make sure you always, always reread the last sentence of the question at least the last sentence honestly if you have a time i would reread read the entire question but always reread the last sentence of the question before you move on to the next thing because that, that helps you prevent um, misreading and forgetting it's just like a double check to make sure there's no way you forgot any question so always reread the last sentence before you move on to move on to the next question Right. The third way, mistransferring data, this is just make sure you double check every single time. Like every single thing you do, just double check it. Every single time you type in something in Desmos, you should go number by number, symbol by symbol, and make sure there's no way you mistyped anything. Okay, that just should be second nature. You should practice doing this as well and practice questions. Every single time you write something in scratch paper, any, every single time you're selecting the answer choice, every single time you're typing something in Desmos, any like steps you're doing, make sure you double check that you did the steps correctly and be really careful. Make sure there's no possible way you, you did something wrong. Right, that's really important. Also, another really common mistake, which is honestly like pretty common, is you answer a question and then later when you come back to it, you find out you answered it wrong, but you forgot to change your answer, even though you knew the answer was wrong. Something like that. You, you found the right answer and it turns out the original answer you selected was wrong, but you forgot to go from, like, let's say the answer was, you selected B, but the answer was C. You forgot to, like, click C afterwards. You just, like, knew you got it wrong. Um, here's the correct answer. And then you move on, but you, you forgot to actually click it. That's a really common mistake. I actually made that mistake multiple times. So, same thing with always make sure you reread the last sentence. Always make sure you typed in or selected the right answer before moving on to the next question as well. So, and double check everything you do basically and then also uh always double check you select this so like pressing the next button on the bottom bottom uh i guess bottom right and you're pressing the next button 
to go on to the next question, it should be in your system, it should be ingrained into your being that you should always do two things. Double check that you um, didn't misread, so read the last sentence, and double check that you selected the right answer, or you, you typed in the right answer. Double check you selected, I just typed in the correct answer. That's really important, okay? That would completely prevent these three. The, um, these two are probably the most common. I think the most common mistake is this. The second most common is probably this, okay? The third common thing is also pretty common is this algebra mistakes people make. This is pretty common. Now, how you can prevent this is verify your answer. Now, verifying your answer is not retracing your steps. That, like, it doesn't work that well because you probably make the same mistake again if you retrace your steps. It's like making sure you did every step correctly. It usually doesn't work. What does work though is if you find another way to solve the question. This is why learning Desmos is so powerful. Because if I know Desmos really well, there's now multiple ways I can solve a question. Now I can solve the question with algebra and I can solve it with Desmos. And if you know regression really well, this is also why you should know regression. There's two ways to solve a question. Let's say like we're trying to solve, um, this is a pretty easy question, but let's say we're trying to solve this question. But we can solve it like this, let's graph it, look at the, the vertical line because the single variable equations and the x equals negative three, or we can solve it using regression. So if we get the same answer two different ways, there's no way we got the question wrong, right? This also gives us negative three. So it pretty much guarantees you get the question right. This is why knowing that one's really well it helps so much. So this is what I mean by verifying a question. Find another way to get the same answer. And this could be just doing it with algebra two. This could also be doing the Desmos. Um, if you can't find another way to solve, to get the same answer, you can also try other things to guarantee you got the question right. Maybe work backwards from the number you got to like a number in the question, or maybe um, like in the equation, in the function word problems video that I, I, I showed you, you could do, try typing in a point, right? Find a point in the word problem that would work and then plug it into the, the answer you got and make sure that the answer checks out. Maybe find, if you already found a point, maybe find another point, right? Maybe find three points. Just make sure all three points um, work it with the equation you found. So it's like one way to make absolutely sure there's no way you got the, the, the wrong answer. It's just like a foolproof way to make sure. Just verify your answer somehow. Either um, find another way to solve it, get the same answer, maybe work backwards from the number you got to see if you get what you expect. Um, in some other ways, like plugging in a point in the equation you got, um, and th things like that. Just make sure there's no possible way you got the question wrong, just by doing that. Okay, um, I'll call it just a bit fine, but you get the idea. So those are the, the the three ways to completely prevent silly mistakes. Now this misremembering, and what I mean by misremembering, it's like for example, I had a student, even though they were really experienced, they're like above 700 math. For some reason, and they, they knew this too. It was just like during the test for some reason, they thought uh, angles of a triangle added up to 360. Obviously, they add up to 180, right? But that happens. Like during the test, you might misthink something or like misremember something. Maybe there's some embodied rule formula. Maybe um, you thought it was B over 2A, or like negative B over 2A instead of negative B over A. Like a negative B over 2A is the vertex. X value vertex, so maybe they confuse that, right? Um, this is a really common mistake too. People get these confused. This is the sum of solutions. This is the X value of the vertex. So you might misremember that when you're doing the actual thing. Like under pressure, things can happen, right? This I really can't prevent you. You could verify it, but you could. Like for for a triangle, for example, you could just look at a past question. Like in probably in that during that test, there was probably a question that tested you on triangles. You could just see, oh, what did the angles add up to? One eighty. Okay, and then it's one eighty. There's also in the formula sheet, like in the reference sheet at the very bottom, it tells you all the angles has to add up to one eighty too. Like it tells you too. Um, there's other ways you can verify formulas, like negative b over a. You can just check. Okay, let me add the quadratic formulas, like the the positive version and the negative version to each other, and see if I get this, get this. Right? There's ways you can make sure if you. If you're like even a bit unsure that it was it was the wrong formula, you could make sure. Like for example, let's say you forgot the sum of the interior angles formula, you could just go like two. Um, so a, a triangle has three sides and add it to one eighty. A square has four sides and adds to three sixty. So what's that equation? Oh, and then this this is the equation for um, the sum of the interior angles. Now my, my point is is very there's ways to verify you got the question right. The problem is though. Is if you're like really sure you remembered it correctly, even though you actually remembered it wrong, that's hard to fix. Like let's say you're really sure the triangle is up to 360, even though it actually has up to 180. There's nothing really I can prevent you. This comes more from your your preparation up to the test. These are things you can do during the test itself to prevent silly mistakes. This is more just like preparing yourself 
bullet test. Like all the studying you're doing, the more times you do this, the more times you like know triangle at 180, the more times like the questions involve that, the less of a chance you make that silly mistake. Like you misremember it. So this is just more practice stuff. But if you do these three, there's no way you make a silly mistake on the test. Now, I would caution you to do these two for sure every single question you should definitely be doing these two this one it might take a while i mean if it takes like five seconds you should for sure do it just like make sure right but the problem is sometimes you don't have enough time so let's do the second module i think in the first module for most of you you should be doing all three of these right especially if you have enough time to solve like the entire math section two times over you should for sure be doing these but second module math like especially the harder version I would do these two for sure. The algebra thing, if you have time, you could do it. Just make sure though that when you, with every single step you do, with every single thing you're doing on the test, there's no way you're making any silly mistakes. Just be really careful with everything, like why you're doing that. Just be conscious of, I can make silly mistakes while you're doing it. And that, that in itself is having that mindset could help you a lot. But if you don't have time, like if you, if you know, if you know you're gonna run out of time, or you know you're gonna have to, like a, a chance of time trouble, I wouldn't verify. Like if, if the verifying is going to take like more than 30 seconds, I wouldn't do it. Right. Or like if you have to think about a way to verify it and it's not, it doesn't come easy to you, you shouldn't do it. You, but you should for sure doing these two. This is just like baked into your system. You should be always doing this, even in practice questions. It, it doesn't take that long to do these either. It, it's worth it to trade maybe five extra seconds to guarantee you get the question right. I would take that trade every single time. Even if I run out of time on the test and like get an extra question wrong, that was really hard. And it was a really hard question anyway, so I probably got it wrong anyways. It, it's worth it to make sure you got the easy questions that might even be worth more points correct. Okay, and that's how you make silly, that's how you prevent yourself from making silly mistakes. Is doing what I just said, doing, make sure, make sure you do these two for every question. Um, for the first module math, for like anytime you have, you sure you have more time or your time to check over your answers, you should be doing this. Don't retrace your steps. That's, that usually doesn't work. And also, um, I, I told you ways you could prevent yourself. Like if you forget a formula, there's usually a way you can get that formula back. But if not, it's not the worst case scenario. Okay, this is just more preparation. There's really not much you can do if you, if you forget something. You just have to move on. Okay, yeah, that's it. Hopefully that helps.